Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here, and today I've come up with a very amazing problem on on infinite circuit. And here we are going to calculate voltmeter reading. And uh, by the way, it is uh, an original problem. So here is the problem statement. There is an infinite grid of resistance with central square is having resistance of R and each uh, of each side, and other squares are having resistances as R by two, R by four, R by eight till infinity. The circuits at infinity are connected as shown in the diagram. What is the reading of an ideal voltmeter as shown? So in this case, you can see how these values are beautifully set, and uh, <coughs> just have an idea here. Like this is extended till infinity, here infinity, here infinity, and here till infinity. Only this part is connected to a battery, and remaining are connected with the earth. So uh, here, what we are going to do is uh, let's separate one of the branches here, and let's calculate the resistance of this part. So as you can see here, this uh, branch is R by two. This is R by two combined. They will give R with this R here. R and R in parallel, so it will become R by two. Similarly, here this uh, resistance was uh, R by two. And uh, overall, this uh, and in the parallel, it will become R by four. Here, it will become R by eight, and so on. I hope uh, you are able to understand. And all of them are in series, so we can write this equivalent resistance as R by two, R by four, R by eight in series. When we simplify this, we are going to get this as R. Now, after this, we will rearrange this circuit. You can see here, there is a battery. This is E and a battery. And then in front of battery there is a resistance of R. Then the square comes. Each square resistance is R, and from the remaining three vertices, the resistance of R they are connected to the ground. Ground we can take as zero potential. So this is how the circuit will look like. You can see here this is uh, the central square. This is the connecting resistance which has become R infinite grid. And this is another infinite part. This is another infinite part, and this is another infinite part. So you can see how this uh, circuit is beautifully designed, and uh, each resistance here is R. We have to calculate this voltmeter is connected between these two points here. You can uh, see. So we have to calculate this voltmeter. So by symmetry, I can say if this is at zero volt and this is at E not volt. In the question, it is given V not, so V V not or E not, anything is fine. So if this is x, this will be x. These are the node potentials, and this will be something else. I'm calling it as y, and this is z. So we have to find the value of x minus y in this case. So we can just fold this circuit. We can join this point here, and you can see how beautifully this circuit will uh, reduce to. So this is one resistance R. R and R in uh, parallel. So this will become R by two, and this is node potential x. And similarly here, these two will become uh, R by two. These two will become uh, R by two. So one is here x and y, and another one is x and zero. So both are R by two, and then this y and zero. This is R. Now this circuit is very simple, and let's say a total current of I is coming from here, because I can say R R by two, and uh, this entire thing is three uh, R by eight. They are in series. So total current I can write as. E not divided by uh, R plus R by two plus three R by eight. So which gives me a current value as eight E not by fifteen R. Now you can see here this if this current is I one, all right, and this current is three I one here because this is R by two and this resistance is three R by two. So potential drop has to be same. So this current is three I one and this is I one and sum of these two is four I one. Which is equivalent of I, and we know the value of uh, this eight E naught by fifteen R. Now here, v x minus v y basically x minus y. This is current times the resistance of this branch. So I have to find the value of I one times R by two. Now if I substitute the value of I one, which is two E naught by fifteen R, I am going to get this answer as. Uh, E not by fifteen R, which is going to be the final answer for this uh, problem. I hope, guys, you have enjoyed this, and uh, if you have enjoyed it, please like, share, and uh, subscribe to this channel. 
and guys we have really amazing uh, results in j main 2022 there are 1255 learners above 99 percentiles and there are 80 learners with 99.9 .9 plus percentiles and there are 48 learners which are having 100 percentile in any of the subject so it's a huge huge number and there are uh, 98 percentile above there are uh, 2573 students and highest percentile from the unacademy is 99.99845 uh, .99 so it is uh, Vardhan Varma so thanks to the students for who have performed uh, wonderfully in uh, J Mains 2022 and uh, I was fortunate that uh, many of the learners are part of uh, this channel Indian School of Physics and uh, they are connected with me for classes on uh, Unacademy so it's a very proud moment for me as well and all the very best everyone for the J Advanced 2022 so I'll be coming up with another video very soon thank you thanks for watching it